Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get unusual options activity from Robinhood. So this will essentially be a scanner and all you really need to insert are the tickers you want data for, the expiration, and the time sequences. Just know that it takes a while to get options data for, so the more tickers you have, the longer it will take to get a result. So I actually have this running right now, so I'll show you what the output looks like. So it will loop through the time sequences and calculate the ratio between volume and open interest. And this is sorted from highest to lowest. So the highest ratio are for GME puts. This is the given strike price. The volume right now is 22, but the open interest is only five. So we get a volume to open interest ratio of 4.4, and these are all expiring tomorrow. So just focus on the nearest expiration because the more data you request, the longer it'll take. So let's go through the code. Here are some of the packages you're going to require. You're gonna to need to assign your username and password to log into Robinhood. So whatever your username and password is, just replace these variables here. And here we have five wrappers that we're going to use. So for the first two functions, I went over these in my previous video. These are just requesting options data for a specific symbol. You're gonna insert the expiration date and the option type, whether it's a call or a put. The following three wrappers are just helper functions that will help generate our time sequences. So for day to day, this will actually calculate the nearest trading day, which we will use to get our time sequences. And the sleep wrapper will just put the system to sleep until the very next bar. All right, so if we go to the next section, here you'll want to insert the tickers you are requesting data for. We're going to assign the nearest expiration date, generate time sequences, so here we're just removing the timestamps that have already passed so that we pick up the very next bar. So once you run everything up to this line to get this to start, we're gonna run these two lines and in this block called scan, we're gonna open this up. So what's actually happening under the hood is that we are going to establish a Robinhood connection. We're gonna require options data for the tickers we are requesting. We are going to then log out from Robinhood. I'm going to our buy and list all the options and then I'm going to remove all the strikes that have zero open interest because since we're dividing volume by open interest, we will get an undefined ratio if we divide by zero. So that's why I'm limiting open interest higher than zero. All right, so for the very next line, we are then going to calculate our volume to open interest ratio, which is just simply volume divided by open interest. I will then sort highest to lowest. And then out of all the columns we have in our data set, I just want the symbol, the option type, the strike price, the volume, open interest, and the ratio. I will then combine that with our current timestamp or the very next timestamp. Here I'm just creating some space so that I can print out the output, which is limit. And then after we get the output, we are going to sleep until the very next bar. So for the output, I only want to print the top five, but you could always change this number if you want to get more options. And the rest is really up to you what you want to do with these options. I would further investigate to see what the activity is for the underlying asset. So this concludes the video guys. I will post this on GitHub and leave the link down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.